I just started something that I started writing when I was back in film school, but I only wrote 40 pages, and then I forgot about it. And then Brian's been my writing partner, and I discovered, I showed it to him, he said, we're putting everything else aside and we're going to finish this. And we had a script done in two weeks. We both have a fascination with con artists, and we like uh, stories that involve crime. We're just so thrilled with it. And the first actress on was Julianne Moore, and she really nurtured this the movie, and she put it together, and we were just, you know, just thrilled that, that, that she came on board. And everybody else as well is amazing. Well, it means to be somebody who sort of lives on their wits, or a little bit of cheat in their life. Um, and I think that, a little bit of larceny. And I, I think we all have a little bit of sharp earnest, to be honest. I hope that they have a, a fun time and, and hopefully this is sort of a bit, a bit of a throwback to those movies that we kind of grew up with that are just movies with a capital N. Hopefully we really want to bring back entertainment and fun to films and, um, and, and hopefully surprise audiences. I hope it's entertaining, I hope it's thrilling, and I, I, I hope we um, manage, to, manage to surprise them as much as possible. I read the script, my agent sent me the script, I inhaled it, and I, I just thought it was a great piece of writing by Brian and Alex. It was a smart, funny, character-driven, original movie, and it was unlike anything else I'd ever written, uh, read before. I'm naturally mischievous. I, I, I quite like being playful, and I guess that's one of the reasons why this script appealed to me. Um, I, I, I really remember when I read the script and the sort of the, the genuine shock and the genuine surprises I had, and so I had to, just had to remember that, bottle all that up, and, and try and reproduce that for the audience. She grows a lot. I mean, she she learns a lot uh, from Max's character and throughout the entire film. And um, her journey is really one to watch. So I'm excited for people to see it. Working with everyone was a joy. I learned so much from each one of them, and it, it was an actor's dream to get to have a master class essentially every day. I think it means to uh, you know live your life by your wits, to uh, use your wits and your smarts and you know all of that to, to get what you want, to get an advantage in life. The seed for my love for New York was really planted during that time, so um, it was great. I mean, New York's such a special place, and our movie is sort of a love letter to New York, so it was great. I hope that they learn that, um, you know, even people that they meet in their real lives, they're not always what they seem. You know, we're not one-dimensional or two-dimensional two uh, beings, we, uh, we can contradict ourselves and I think that reminds us of our humanity in general. I read the script, which was the original script that Brian and Alex Gateway and Tanaka wrote, and if you saw the movie, you know, it's got a lot of twists and turns, and I don't want to give away too much, but I will just say, I was reading it, I was drawn in by the characters, the dialogue, and at that first twist, I gasped out loud as I was reading it, I was just like, wow, sat up a little bit stiffer in my seat, and that was actually the experience I wanted to bring to audiences, the same thing I had, and as you know, there are a couple of twists and turns, you know, where you do kind of exclaim out loud picture not knowing where it's going at all obviously same thing for you as a viewer but that was um, such a fun experience as a reader as a producer to find something that's so original so unexpected where it isn't just a game but you actually care about the characters and going along for the ride uh, so you are on a ride but you want to spend time with them uh, it was just a, a thrilling and a great treat to make Julianne had been involved with it uh, when I first read it. So she came on uh, very early on. So picturing also uh, her at the center of it was kind of a great treat. And she set the bar for the kind of actor that we wanted to have evolve. You know, she's such a fine performer. And I'd worked with her before, so I knew what she was about, both in terms of her depth, her sensitivity, and her sense of humor, and her sense of fun, and her professionalism. So using her as an example, uh, and trying to think about the other cast we were going to bring in, uh, really kind of was our North Star in the, cast, uh, in the cast that we recruited. I hope that they're going to have an incredible ride. I think they're going to be delighted, intrigued, surprised, and want to tell everyone to see it.
Julianne is a producer on it, which was super helpful, and so she was really key to the casting as well. I mean, one of the big standouts is Brianna Middleton, as you know, uh, I think is going to be a superstar. I think Sebastian Stan is a real standout in it as well, and Justice, who I love. Um, I think they all did incredible. I just want them to be entertained. I truly, I think it is such a fun movie and it's rare to see this kind of film too. They don't really get made today. Um, and I hope this sort of film like has a comeback. I love this script. I was so fortunate to be sent this script. Actually, the writers and I have a have a, a we have a shared manager who said I really think you love these guys and love their writing. And I immediately I was very very attracted to it and to the, the entire project. And so it's been a wonderful experience. It really has. I love it. It's all about people kind of pursuing their uh, desires through their relationship with others. I knew that if I were so attracted to this, you know, that other people would be too. Really, really wonderful actors. Brianna Middleton is just, you know, this is, she's just really starting out. She's so magnificent in this. Justice Smith, who I absolutely adore. Sebastian Stan, John Lithgow. We have a tremendous cast. Tom is a, is a real melancholic type, you know, he uh, owns a bookstore and has kind of let books consume his life. Uh, he, uh, he's, he's looking for connection, you know, he, he's, he's, he's having a tough time uh, with the death of his mother and, and his fraught relationship with his father and when Sandra enters his life it's like a, it's a really big deal for him and then everything ensues from there. But uh, yeah, that's where we meet him at the start of the film. They're incredible. I love them dearly. Brianna is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, she she's a real good friend of mine now. We face them a lot, and uh, Julie is I, she has my heart. Uh, I learned so much from her. I was so inspired by her working on this thing, and you know she's the reason why I wanted to do the movie. And John again is so sweet. Sebastian is amazing. Uh, it, I'm just really blessed to have been able to work with this cast. New York is like a second home to me, you know. I, I lived there for two years, so I was, was really excited to go back. I have a lot of friends there. Uh, and it's a, it's, a, it's a living, breathing creature, New York. So shooting this film there with that backdrop was, was essential. Sharper is someone who uh, gets by uh, using their wits. Um, I, I think it's just someone who uh, survives through their intellect and through manipulation. These are all very interesting characters, and uh, I think the whole the whole fun thing is trying to figure out when they're being honest and when they're not being honest. And uh, Max is a, you know, a mystery maybe all, even to himself. They're incredibly generous actors, really, really kind people. Um, Julianne made this movie possible. She championed, you know, the script and, um, and really took this whole thing under her wing. And, uh, you know, it's a dream come true. I mean, you grow up watching so many great movies and then you're right in front of the, the actor you've, you've admired for so long. It's, it's pretty spectacular. New York is a character in the movie and, and, and um, I think we, we had an amazing DP and our director uh, really was very specific about the city and, and sort of, you know, the different kind of personalities and the socioeconomic level in the city. It, it all plays a part of the story. I just just hope that they have fun. You know, I think it's meant to be a fun, entertaining movie. Um, it's it's a it's a story that's sort of a throwback in a lot of ways to some of the the great movies of the '70s and like the '80s, like the paranoid thrillers and stuff. And and I think it's fun. And I just hope people go into it sort of just trying to not know as anything about it. it, it it's going to land much better.